In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we continue our look at how to customize slideshow templates to fit the way you want to adjust your slideshow. We're going to look at the highlight and the balloon template. We have other lessons for some of the other of the 13, and we also have a lesson on how to start your slideshow using all the defaults. We hope you check those out. In order to do a slideshow, I simply put the still images I want on any given track, highlight them, and then click on the slideshow button above the timeline. And the first one we'll look at right now is called Highlight. If I double click on it, it will launch the uh, slideshow uh, designer. And if I want to see what Highlight does, I simply click the play button. And here we see uh, what it gives me is a black and white image followed by one of several variations of the same image popping on the screen in color. And so that's the uh, general structure of this particular template. So let's see what we can do when it comes to uh, making some customizations. I'll hit the pause button here and we'll hit on customize. Now this is unlike uh, any of the other ones we've looked at so far. There are several things that we can do. Uh, like other templates, one of the things we can do here is we can go ahead and we can uh, change the crop and the center of any particular picture that we have. And if we go here, we have this one replicated four times. We'll turn it up like this. And now each of the four is separate. So I can actually have, even though I have a grayscale background, of the large picture, uh, I have a smaller version and color of the accent picture in the center. And it wants to go, we're going on foreground picture, okay? And the other thing I can do is I can switch to background picture and I can change the, uh, the crop and the center of the background picture if I want. So in some ways, it doesn't even have to look like <laughs> the foreground picture. So, but they're both built around the same static image. So I can edit the foreground picture and the background picture uh, together on the same slide or independent of one another. And my guess in most cases, if you want to use this, you'd be editing the foreground picture. Um, here's another example where this is cropped in the center and I might decide well we'll crop it slightly differently and then here we have four side by side and let's for fun just go ahead and change not the foreground but the background and I may make that a little bit smaller put it here click on the foreground I get to see that so this is how you edit uh, this particular one. Uh, this is called the highlight template. We'll cancel out of that. And uh, let's go ahead and try one more in this particular tutorial. We're going to do the balloon one next, which is rather an odd looking one. I'll highlight my, uh, all my st uh, still images, click on slideshow and move down to balloon. Double-click. There we go. It, uh, it loads, and let's see what Balloon does. Well, Balloon lifts the picture from the bottom of this colorful frame uh, to the top uh, in different ways. And let's see how we can customize what we see here in this rather unusual uh, template for slideshows. I'll hit the pause button. We'll hit customize. And let's see what it allows me to do. Once again, I have the option of cropping and resizing the images of the pictures that are attached to my magical balloons. And that's all I can do. Everything else is uh, controlled by this particular template. So you have minimum adjustments on this one. Uh, but you can adjust what the pictures look like in terms of size, cropping, zooming, what have you. 
So that gives you the options that you have in this particular one. And again, you don't have to get out of the edit window to preview and see what they will happen to do. Those are two more of them. We have one other lesson if you're covering these in order, and uh, we hope you find it all useful.